Hi everyone, it's Christine Clemens with App Properties, Christie's International Real Estate, and I am your Chicagoland real estate expert. Today, I am at 317 South 3rd Street in downtown Geneva at the James Restaurant. I love it here. We're gonna be talking to Gretchen Hupka. She's gonna be telling us all about the beautiful menu, events and happenings here. I can't wait. Let's go talk to Gretchen. Gretchen, I'm so excited to be here at the James. You and I have been friends for a very long time, yes. and I have just been in such awe of what you've been able to accomplish here at the James. Thank you for having me oh, here. Oh, thank you for being here. I appreciate it. Yeah, tell everybody about the James. Well, the James, we actually opened up May of 2023, so we've only been open just a little over a year. Um, and I think many people assume that this is our only property or only um, business. However, we actually have Mistwood Golf Club as well, which has a restaurant on property as well as a golf dome. Um, which were all started by my father and kind of built by him. And then um, he sadly passed away in 2020 and we had the opportunity shortly after to expand our brand and this beautiful property on 3rd Street became available. Um, and it was just, you couldn't, couldn't pass it up. I don't think it gets a whole lot better than 3rd Street in Geneva. Uh, it doesn't. Um, and no, so now we have the James. It's just something that we're very proud to bring the, to the community. Yeah. Uh, my husband and I live here with our children. Um, so we feel like my father created something really, really special with our Mistwood brand and to now be able to bring it here and share it with, um, you know, my own community, it's really, really, really cool. It's beautiful. I mean, your father was incredible and you are as well and it just carries straight on into your business, both at Mistwood and here at the James. And the James is actually named after your father, correct? Uh, it is actually. Yeah. Um, yes, he, he worked, he had a passion, he was an entrepreneur and he worked to build something very, very special at Mistwood and wanted to um, just provide an experience unlike any other that you can get on the golf course, in the restaurant, and we're striving to do the exact same thing here. And when we were trying to come up with a name, we were brainstorming, looking into the history of Geneva, thinking something was just going to pop out at us. Um, it was kind of interesting that a lot of the, you know, the, I think the first individual who lived here in the house when this was actually a residence um, back in the 1920s, um, was named James, oh, and that name continued to kind of come up. James Harrington was the founder okay. of um, Geneva, and then it just kind of was like, okay, this is meant to be. Yeah. We wouldn't be doing any of this without my dad, um, so why not name it after him and let his legacy live on? So we're really, really proud. I think he'd be proud of what we're doing here as well. I'm so. sure that he is. Yes. So tell everybody about the menu. What can they find here? Ooh, it's delicious. <laughs> it um, it's just a very approachable, very creative menu. Um, it's a menu that you can come just enjoy, you know, a drink and a small snack and share. You can get some cheese puffs or our crispy baby brie Ooh. and just enjoy, you know, a glass of wine with a great um, small, small bite. Um, there's also, you know, salads, there's steaks, there's a lot of you pick twos, which have become really popular at lunchtime. Okay. Um, kind of the idea of there's, you know, a number of different sandwiches salads, soups, you can mix and match however you want. So oh if you're gosh. feeling like, hey, I want to get okay. two half sandwiches because I can't decide, yeah. you get your two half sandwiches. Or Ooh. you could do two salads, two soups, or any combination. Um, so that's become something that has become a really, really big hit. Yes. Um, and people just enjoy that, that variety mm -hmm. um, and getting to try not just one delicious option, but two. Yeah. Um, but no, we also have a brunch menu on Sundays, which a lot of people are not aware of. I have had that, um, so good. So 10 a.m. we open up on Sunday mornings. Um, beautiful when the patio is open to sit outside and enjoy um, just a, you know, a calm, relaxing breakfast with absolutely delicious food. Yeah, and um, yeah, the restaurant's perfect for pretty much anything you want to do. I've been here with a huge group of my girlfriends. I think you were even walking through the restaurant that day to say hi. Date nights are perfect here, yes. and then my kids love it. They yes. love the hamburgers here. They're so good. Yes, and I think I could probably eat like even the kids' mac and cheese. And not that yeah. I, I don't, I'd probably insult chef by saying that <laughs> I might come in and even order the kids' mac and cheese from time to time. Um, but it's even absolutely delicious. And every day, all day, kids are free. So if you come in with a parent and the parent is wanting to enjoy a meal, um, kids are free. So it makes it, you know, it makes it fun. It's very family friendly. Um, but also, you know, you might have a family here beside a business luncheon and a romantic dinner. And it's something that you can feel like you're in the right spot and you can find something on the menu that you're not going to only enjoy, but you're going to be excited about when to come back. Absolutely. Back again. Yeah. And then I've also seen you do some special event type things. We do. Um, when the patio is open, it's a little bit tougher to do events inside, mm -hmm. um, but we do, we do usually twice a year um, out on the patio, a wine event, kind of a wine walk or a um, our most recent one was a ship and, uh, sip and shuck, um, where oh, we have a number of, yes, a little <laughs> tongue twister there, um, but a lot of um, wines and small bites and um, delicious. Um, so we do that outside twice a year, and then yeah. 
usually from November through May. Um, inside once or twice a month, we have a lot of social events. Um, and these events range from pairings with beers to bourbon to wine. Um, wine is definitely something that we really pride ourselves on okay. our wine list. We actually opened in 2023 and in 2023 as well as in 2024, we received the um, Wine Spectator Award of Excellence, um, which is something that I think throughout the throughout the world, there's about 2,000 restaurants that are given that um, annually. Oh my god! And gosh, we're really proud that day, you know, year one, we were able to um, obtain that and earn that. Um, so yeah, so you can come in for, you know, it doesn't mean you're coming in for an expensive bottle of wine. You certainly can find yeah. um, some, some higher end expensive wines, but you can also find some very reasonable um, small production wines um, that I think, you know, can can beat some of those those big names as well. That's amazing. Um, and I, love, I think that's a testament to how well, like run and organize this place is. It is not just a thrown together menu. It is very thoughtfully put together. Yes. And whenever I feel like I've come to order a glass of wine, I don't know a lot about it, but yeah. all of your staff are very well versed in it as well and have been able to help you make good selections. No, we really, yeah, we pride ourselves on that and try and give, try, try to provide, because a lot of people may not know a whole lot about wine. Right. I'm kind of one that, you know, I'm, I'm learning, yes. but I would fall into that category. Um, my husband, on the other hand, is very, um, very passionate about wine a lot of our selections here. Um, but we do, we try to train the staff very well yeah. um, so that they're aware of, you know, they can answer questions and they can do some some great pairings to enhance the meal. It's amazing how that can just make the meal. You may have yeah. that salmon and then you pair it with the right wine and it just makes it that much better. Yeah. Um, and our culinary team, um, led by our exec chef, uh, Stephen Blackburn, just, um, just his level of talent, his creativity, the flavors, I mean, things that I oftentimes when never think to put together yeah. um, and I used to be a little bit picky um, but now looking at what he puts together and you try it and it's um, it's pretty incredible yeah um, so. well I'm excited to dive in I can't wait to get my next reservation <laughs> yes well we would love to have you yeah Gretchen thank you so much for having us stop by I hope everybody um, makes their own reservation or call me up call me up yeah that would be great we would love to welcome I enjoy being on the patio meeting meeting guests it's always great so yeah. thanks for thanks for being here yeah thank you Thanks everyone for joining us for another episode of Know Your Neighbors of the Fox Valley. I hope you enjoyed getting to know Gretchen here at the James Restaurant. Please call and make your reservation. There are so many wonderful things coming up this fall and winter, and they are ready for you. A special thanks go out to our sponsor for this episode, Stem Insurance. They are a local family-owned employee benefits broker. They provide unique service and strategy to businesses looking to provide competitive benefits to their employees while ensuring that their spend is predictable. They introduce themselves to businesses by offering a customized financial analysis of their program to introduce their work product and service model. To learn more, call Amanda Teskin at 630-408-1815 and I will see you again for another episode of Know Your Neighbors of the Fox Valley very soon.